But um, yeah, I did play Gears Five. Uh, it was one of the I had to wait, but it was the one of the Game Pass games, and it's uh, it's really fun. Um, it's kind of cool because uh, playing that uh, that beginning level, the intro level, it's basically, and I would love to see how this works on PC, but it's basically like that a benchmark kind of level, like just visually, it's how can your rig kind of play this this mm-hmm. this level is how it how it uh, seems to me like it's just visually it's fucking incredible it's really great i'm playing on xbox one x and it looks visually stunning but i imagine on pc it's just another level but i can tell like they're almost scripting these levels to show you like right off the bat there's like crazy water effects and and just like in particle effects i think they're just they're trying to have this the next like crisis like load this first level and see how your rig does with it um because it looks like graphically intensive but fair enough but that aside, like, of course, it's beautiful, but it plays really well. It plays like Gears. Um, mm-hmm. I kind of dropped off in the last couple of Gears games, but this one has brought me back in. Um, it's granted it's free because it's one of the game past games, but um, I'm, I'm really digging it. I'm only about like two or three hours in, nice. but um, I do like it. How does it? So these games have always been like no slouch in terms of graphics. Like, yeah. And uh, at least the last ones, because like if you think back to the original Gears, it was very famous for being like gray and mm-hmm. all monotone, like the colors kind of mushed together. Yeah. But now being removed, there's so much color in this 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 newer newer Gears. Like they really focus on separating from that older kind of visual palette, and now it's just it's a you know it's a next gen game basically. Like it looks really really cool. Yeah, I think it's also one of those games too where like looking at it like on a stream or a YouTube video doesn't really do it justice. You really had to see I wonder, it. Yeah, like just seeing it running in real time and, and you know, no delay or no, like, um, you know, b- taking it from, like, 4K to 1080p or whatever, with mm-hmm. whatever stream you're watching it on. But, yeah, and granted, I'm, wa- I'm, I'm playing it on a 4K television and uh, on the Xbox One X. That's probably the prime way to play it. Mm-hmm. I wonder how it actually performs on Xbox One S because it's kind of like this is the end of the console generation basically. So I wonder how that first iteration does. Is it just like smoking? Is it, you know, (laughs) vibrating so much that it can't handle it? Um, It kind of reminds me of Halo 3. If you remember, that was at the the end of the Xbox 360's generation. And it was just like the last hurrah. It was squeezing the lemon where it was like every graphical performance was, was, everything was ticked onto the max, but it it ran really well. It looked really well. So I feel, I get the same vibes with this one. It's like, they're just pushing it to the limit. I think the Xbox One could keep going forward. Like it's not like it can't handle it. It's mm-hmm. just they're really trying everything on this last, you know, run. But um, yeah, it's fun. Nice. Aside from the graphics, it's very fun. It's very, very gears. Aside from the graphics, it's very fun. <laughs> yeah. Don't well, like the graphics. It's <laughs> no, too I, pretty. It's distracting <laughs> from true. the gameplay. In addition to the graphics, but like it's funny because it's very gears where you can. Um, you're. You're the guy that read Playboy for the articles, aren't you? <laughs> I guess so, yeah. I was like, get these boobies out of the way. I need to read this Hunter S. Thompson. But, uh, uh, Wait, in, in did the new, Hunter S. Thompson write for Playboy? Yeah, he has a famous article in, in a Playboy where he, I think that's where he um, finally, he actually goes to this, is it the Kentucky Derby? He gets super duper high off his off his ass and writes about it. I want to say that's the whole, um, the, the movie that was bi- that was made off like of that whole thing. It was like a race in a desert or something. It right? was something like that. But I know mm. uh, it was for this Playboy article. I think he would get the money and just like spend it all on drugs and then write about whatever happened. But he was famous for doing that. <laughs> just, like, just whatever assignment he got. Okay, cool. I'm going to spend that money on drugs. Get high. Watch the thing you want me to watch and then interpret it off my, you know, whatever peyote induced mine. How do you, but, are they paying for the hotels as well? Like, how do you exist? Yeah, I don't know. This is what, back in the 70s, 80s, where they could just kind of do it. And he would write so well that people were just like, okay, this is still gold. Um, <laughs> it's but, weird uh, gold, but it's gold. <laughs> yeah. 